Oh god damn it, I fucked up my t whatever. Uh hello, welcome back to Terraria. So I was making ingots, the thing disappeared. I was making ingots and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna continue making ingots. But um making ingots out of shit. I was just kinda, you know, doing stuff before I started recording again. And uh all of a sudden it was like a goblin army is approaching from the west or the east, whatever. And it's about to about to pop up again. But yeah. I started recording because there's a fucking goblin army invasion. Uh, I'm trying to do this real quick before it starts. I don't know where I'm gonna go. Probably up in my house somewhere. Somewhere safe. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. This is the first time we're showing an invasion. I think I don't think I've done an invasion um, on recording yet. And there it's happening right now. I'm trying to organize everything. I think I might have put something in the wrong thing. Whatever. Uh, so they're approaching from the west. Uh, yep. Oh, yep. They're starting to spawn in my house already. What is this? Why can't I go down in here? I should be able to go down in there. What the fuck? Uh, whatever. I'll do that. Oh, uh, fucks that up. Oh, uh, wait, no, I need to put that back. Hold on. Please, goblins, hold on. Yes, hi. I need to do this. There you go. I hope this... Is this housing still suitable? Yes, it is. Alright, I'm gonna go out here and fight some goblins. Because they're not hard. Especially with the weapon I have. Especially with the weapon I have. I'm just fucking eating through them. So this will probably take like 10-15 minutes maybe? Something like that. I'm already at 10%, which is actually a lot higher than I feel like it should be. Um, arrow's good, but it's kind of slow because it doesn't shoot through them. Getting some lag, I'm sorry about that. And I can just... I can just tank these guys. Their arrows don't do anything to me. I don't think the mage, no nope, mage damage doesn't do anything to me. Yeah, this molten armor is just. This molten armor will actually help me. It'll actually be pretty good for a good bit of the of early hard mode. Like, I'm gonna need better armor like pretty quickly. But for the beginning of hard mode, this molten armor is gonna. It'll keep me alive. Um, it'll keep me alive. But my mistakes and my kind of not that great Terraria combat skills probably will kill me. So we'll see how it goes once that happens. Oh, there's a lot of warriors here. Oh god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh god. I already almost 50% already. Yeah, this is no. I don't. I could just stand here. I mean, I'd probably take some considerable damage. I feel like there's probably some goblins down here, because they like to do that. I saw one up in the water over here. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, there's one. Hello. I'm right over his head. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Come here. Fuck you. Ow. I, I see. I know, mage. You're there. I know you are. Wouldn't it be funny if I, like, never started recording? I'm recording, everything's okay. I always worry about that whenever I kind of, like, jump into a recording. I always worry that I fucked it up. But I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting, I'm getting more used to it. Ow. I'm not, I don't, I feel like this yo-yo is really good, but I'm not sure if it's, like, the best yo-yo pre-hard mode. It might be. Uh, I say that, but there's probably a better one. I mean, I don't know, 25 damage without any modifiers is pretty good. There's probably a better one, though. I don't fucking know. Doesn't matter. I'll be getting a lot better yo-yos in hard mode. Speaking of hard mode yo-yos, there is, um... You might have seen me talking about it on Twitter, if you follow my Twitter. If you don't, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash huskyalex. Or at Husky Alex. I don't know why he didn't just say at Husky Alex. Because I'm fucking great and cool. Anyway, I was talking about on Twitter how um, there is a yo-yo in hard mode called Yellets. Or Yellets. I don't know how you pronounce it. But it is a it's a yo-yo that drops in the jungle. Like underground jungle? I don't think it... Oh no, I think it drops above ground jungle. It basically drops in the jungle biome. Oh god, sorry, I'm burping. And it has a 1 in 500 chance of dropping, I believe. It's basically a point 
zero five or no point five. I don't think it's zero five. I think it's just point five. I think it's point five percent chance. Basically, a moderately low percent chance of dropping. Oh my god, that one came from the sky. And within forty minutes, I think I obtained seven of them, and three of them I obtained within basically like ten minutes from each other. I'm never that lucky, but I was fucking lucky there in that moment. I feel like I'm moderately lucky in Terraria, um, although I'm not that lucky. Some of the things I try and get, I just never get, but you know, whatever. Yeah, that's like a really good yo-yo. That's probably the best yo-yo I've had. It's, I think it's base damage is, I may be wrong, but I think it's 80? No, 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 never mind. I'm so sorry. It's not 80. The base damage is 69 or 60 something. But with the modifier I have on my primary one is 80, which is so much damage for a fucking yo yo. It's not the best yo yo in the game, but it's pretty good. Anyway, I'll stop talking about a yo yo that I have in my other playthrough. Oh god. The Goblin Army thing went away, but it's because I went too far away. Almost done with the Goblin Army already. I don't know how much gold we've gotten. Probably maybe like. Just a few gold, not that much. Goblin army is not that great. That's not like, you know... I don't even think we've gotten any items. I don't know if they drop items. I'm actually super not sure about that. There's barely any goblins, I know that. Are they underground? Oh, well, there's some above ground, alright. These are probably the last couple that I need to kill, yeah. I could just probably kill this guy and it'll be done. Yep, there we go. Goblin army has been defeated. Cool. For our first invasion. Just, we got a bunch of spike balls. Spiky balls. Boop, boop, boop. I never use throwing weapons, ever. Because this is not my style. Maybe one day I'll try a fucking rogue. But probably not. I probably will never try a rogue. Probably not. So yeah, we didn't really get much out of that. But, uh... But yeah, yeah. Did it. Cool. That was really fucking easy. Um... I don't really have anything to sort except like the spiky balls and the mushrooms. Um, I was going to talk about hard mode, even though I was already kind of talking about it. But I was going to talk about hard mode for this world. Um, I already talked about how like before we go into hard mode, I need to find all of my demon altars, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm, I might go over to the corruption and look for more of them. Um, in this episode, maybe you know, maybe I'll do that just so I can like. Because I'm really excited to get into hard mode. I'm not excited for the amount of times I'm going to die, but I'm excited for all the weapons and armor that are in hard mode. I'm really excited for that. I don't know. I probably shouldn't try and rush into hard mode. Um, just because I want to be in it. I should probably make sure I'm properly ready for it. Um, and I want to try and at least get the big majority of all the demon altars. And make sure I know where they all are. Um, there'll probably be some, because there's some demon altars that aren't in the main corruption area. Um, which is obviously, like, right here. Like, there'll probably be some below it. There'll probably be some, like, down here. Um, like, I've seen a demon altar that was in a jungle biome that was underneath a corruption biome. And I just fucking slapped my, my mouse on accident. So, I don't know. I'll try and find as much as I can before we go into hard mode, and then I'll go defeat the Wall of Flesh, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll just get some potions, and, you know, it'll be probably an easy fight with the weapons that I have. Um, so, since I was talking about it, let's, uh, let's go over to the left. I'm so sorry, I keep, I keep doing these weird burps, and I don't think there's any more corruption. Although, maybe, because there is, like, these tunnels right here, but I don't know if they go down to any, any more demon altar areas. Um, I'll check that in another time, but now, in this episode, and probably extending into the next episode, I'm going to go over here and find some more demon altars, and probably kill the, the, the Eater of Worlds some more, just because he drops like a couple gold and some, you know, demonite stuff, obviously, which I can sell, because I don't need it. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. I really wish I had a unicorn mount. I'll, I'll probably I'll probably give myself one whenever we go into hard mode. Like I said, I would love to have one right now, but you know, I'll wait. Oh, hello, strange plant. Another thing that I will do eventually in my world, most likely, um, 
is do like what I did in my other world where I have a tunnel that goes across the whole world that's pretty close to the surface. Like it'll probably be like down here somewhere. Um, I'll probably like do it like I'll probably start it somewhere near or like below the lowest part of the surface, which is right here. So I'll do it probably like around here and it'll just go across the world. Um, but a little, that's gonna take a long time because I have a large world. So I should start working on that soon. I might not do that in this episode, but I'll do that in the episode. I'll just start working on it just so I can have it planned out so I know where I'm gonna do it. Anyway, um, hopefully I can actually find the demon altar area, the actual corruption. It looks like this corruption area over here isn't as big as the other one, so... So hopefully it won't be uh, hard to find. There's a lot of cactus over here. I need to remember to look out for the tops of cactuses for the pink things because uh, it gives me a thing to make pink dye. Which, uh, I need pink dye. Because I love the color pink and also it's used to make rainbow dye, which... I fucking love rainbows. Rainbows are the best. Oh god. I didn't realize there was this much desert here. That's a lot of desert that will eventually probably be taken over by the corruption. But, you know, that's life. Corruption is like the shitty people of Terraria, even though it's not people. And they'll just take over everything. I'm, I'm gotta be getting close, right? Probably not, though. Eh, I'm kinda there. I'm almost there. Hopefully there wasn't anything that I said I was going to do that I didn't do. If there was, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Ooh. There's a lot of desert. I did not realize. I just didn't, I guess I didn't pay attention before to just how much desert there was in this world. I mean, you know, I guess that's what you get with a large world. Oh, hello jungle. Ah yes, I remember this very well. And it goes right into corruption. Cool. Alright, let's go down and see if we can actually find an area. Nope. Hopefully I have better luck with these other tunnels. Ugh. I love placing torches. I like having a, a lit up world. It also has to do with that I have to have my lighting on retro, so it kind of makes things a little darker. So it's nice to have a lot of lighting. Um, I'm probably going to have to do more digging like I did on the other side, just to find the actual corruption zone. You know, tunnel, whatever. Well, maybe this will go into it. Nope. It looks like it'll go down, though. I'll, I'll look over here to the left in these other tunnels first before I start digging down. I should have done that on the other side, too. But whatever. Oh, this looks like it goes down all the way. Yep. Cool. I'm glad that it wasn't a repeat of a. Uh... See, like right there, like, that's kind of a sneaky altar. Like, I saw it, but. I don't know, sometimes there'll be an altar that's like that, where it's not with the other ones, but it'll be, like, way down there. And there probably is in this world, and I'll probably miss one. Um, oh, what is... Th why does this not connect? Is this, like, a... No it's just... This is just the fucking corruption place that doesn't connect to the, like, surface, is it? Isn't it? I really think that's stupid that there's even corruption tunnels that don't connect to the surface. It's confusing. Like it's obviously I found it. It's not hard to find, but it's just confusing. I'm like a fucking granny, and I need I need someone to hold my hand. Yeah, it's just kind of like this little outlet, like this little fucking cave that's not even connected to anything. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna go through here like I did on the on the other one, and just probably just collect collect all this demonite ore, and also. Light up the place. There isn't much place to this place. It, there's probably more of this, like over here. Maybe though. Was any of this corruption? I don't think it was. Is this jungle? Oh god, I'm being hit by something. All right. So how many, how many orbs are there? It looks like there is one, two, three, four. I think that's all there is. Well then. Ow! Stop it. Is this really all there is? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dig up here. Preemptive, preemptively, whatever. I don't know what the proper way is to say that word, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and dig up here just so I remember that there is demon altars up here, even though I'll see them. Just wanna make sure, cause you know, 
You know how blind I am. Ow. Alright. So yeah, like, if I find demon altars that aren't with other ones, like in a normal place, I need to make sure I put several torches around it. So, uh, so I can easily find it on the map when I'm looking for them. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, well, this one's kind of flooded with water. I'll have to drain the water out just so I can put... Oh, God, there's a lot of water. Um, I'm just gonna drain the water out so I can put some torches around this. Even though, I'll, you know, it's close, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'm just gonna dig down. Oh, God. Okay. Might as well just, like, go over here and see if there's any other demon altars. You'll see them though, like you'll see them because they're very bright, they emit light, so. You can't really miss them unless they're just really far away from the other ones, like I was saying. There you go. Eh, go, go up, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna just put some words around that, so I won't miss that, I'll be able to find it. I think this is all this is around here, although that looks like it's already more, like right there. So maybe I should just go over here and dig to the left. Let's do that. I'm just gonna dig to the left and hopefully find more. Cause I really I need to I really need to map out my entire Oh yep, look, it totally goes into more. Easily could have missed that. Well maybe. I don't know. There's probably honestly some like on the right side of the world, there was probably some over there that I missed too. I can guarantee you if I go back over there and look for more, there'll totally be more demon altars and another like hidden cave. I bet you there is. Probably. Alright, how much of this even is there? I'm fucking... There's so many eater of... Eater, soul eaters, whatever they're called. What are they... Are they called soul eaters? I don't know. They're assholes either way. Whatever the fuck they're called. This is, like, really weird. It goes down... It goes even more? What the fuck is happening right now? I'm just gonna dig through this. This is really weird. I don't know if it's because it's a large world or if it's just, like, formed weird. Does it go down into more, or is this just a solitary thing? Looks like it. Well, you know, I'm gonna test something real quick. I'm gonna dig down, see if it goes into, like, if there's, like, lower secret areas. Although, it might just go in a jungle like it did on the other side. Oh, hello, jungle slime. Do you have something in you? You have three silver inside of him. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this just keeps going in a jungle. Which is, you know, whatever. Good to have plenty of jungle area though, because in hard mode the jungle becomes pretty important. Um, I th the main reason it becomes important is because of the life fruit that you get from the jungle. I th there's other reasons I just can't think of right now. I know uh, in the jungle there is a new material or or in the hard mode called like chlorophyte. I haven't even been able to mine that in my other world yet because you have to mine it with. I think you have to mine it with the uh, hollow bars, which is ore that you get from killing the three mechanical bosses. And I think you have to, like, the pickaxe that you make from that, oh god, ah, the pickaxe that you make from that, not only do you need, like, the ore, but you also need the souls from each of the bosses. So, like, I've defeated the destroyer and the twins on my off-recording world. But I haven't destroyed, or I haven't beaten uh, Skeletron yet, so I can't make the pickaxe. Um, which I actually think it's called the pickaxe axe, which I'm guessing that means it's an axe and a pickaxe all in one, which is super cool. Um, that's like really fucking cool. Was there another orb over here to the left? I don't know if there was. There's also some like stuff up here to the, up here. I don't know if there's any altars up there. There might be. I don't know. So I guess uh, this might be actually be like kind of longer episode. Not much, just by a couple minutes or two, which is okay. It's not really a longer episode, it's just not, you know, whatever. Because I'm gonna, I'm about to fight the Eater Worlds. It won't take long, though. This will probably just be like an extra minute or two. Um, I'm definitely gonna try and kill it. Oh, another meteorite landed. If you remember last episode, the fucking meteorite landed towards the end of the episode, and towards the end of this episode, another meteorite landed. So we have two meteorites somewhere in the world. Um, I'm just fucking destroying him. He's not even getting past me. Um, and I don't, I don't even know if many people watch this series that actually don't play Terrarium themselves. But if you don't know, a meteorite is 
a fucking meteor. Um, and somewhere in the world, a big giant meteor has landed in your world, and there'll be basically a big crater um, in your world on the surface somewhere. Um, and there will be meteorite, like ore, all around the crater, like in the crater. And it's it's a new ore that's, you know, obviously meteor stuff. And I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's primarily for, like, magic users. Um, so I don't think I'll probably use it, but I will go collect all of it. Um, but whenever you're there at the meteor, there is, like, little meteor, meteorite heads that'll fly, they can, they can fly through blocks, and whenever you're there and near that place, they'll constantly come at you. So I like to, excuse me, oh my god, I'm so gassy. I like to take out all the meteorites, regardless of if I need it, or all the, like, ore, just so if I pass that place, there won't be meteorite heads attacking me, because if you destroy all the ore, then there won't be meteorite heads there anymore, um, which they're super annoying. They just keep spawning, and they're just, like, slow but menacing, and I don't know. It's annoying. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't think there's any, there's that much, oh, it looks like there's two more orbs, and there was one over here, too, that we never got, so we could probably do the Eater Worlds again, um, but that'll be in another episode, because this episode is over. I'm gonna go home real quick. I'll organize my shit, um, off recording, because I have shit to organize, and I need to end this episode, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, man. Man, I didn't do much in that episode, did we? We kind of just went over there to the... to the fucking corruption and fucked off. I mean, I know I killed the Eater Worlds again, but that's not that big of a thing. I don't know. Maybe we'll do some. Maybe we'll build some more next episode. Maybe I'll do the in-between episodes. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I hope you love me, too. Because... Because love is cool. I don't know. I don't know what I'm fucking saying. I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you. See you next time.